we're going to look at the surface finish job done by the Terramax. After we've ran it at a few different gang angle settings, we ran at zero, two, four, six, and eight degrees. And again, just to recap, this is about 175 bushel uh, corn residue here in central Kansas that was untouched or unworked from last fall. Uh, farmers looking to uh, size the residue, mix, mix and, and bury it, as well as take out some of the winter annual weeds that are really starting to come up and grow, such as the hen bit and mare's tail. Uh, as we look down here at the surface, this is a zero degree pass. And you can see there's still a lot of residue on the surface. We're not getting a lot of soil mixed on top. Uh, so that could leave this residue prone to blowing if the winds did pick up. And as we dig behind, look at the soil, we can tell um, where these blades have been running. And again, with that shallow con concavity turbo speed blade on the, on the Terramax, uh, it is at zero degrees running on the backside or the heel of that blade. And so, as we mentioned earlier as well, we're not at that full 50-50 cutout either. And so you can really see that as you dig, dig down below. Uh, we are getting some soil cut out and mixing, but, but definitely not shattering it across uh, with that shallow concave blade. Um, I mentioned a lot of residue still on the surface. If we look over here, we can see here's a mare's tail still anchored, not cut out, as well as some hen bit that's still anchored into the soil as well. So those weeds are going to remain growing. We're not getting complete weed kill at this zero degree pass. Let's step over and look at what the finish was behind the two degree pass. Here at our two degree pass now, you can see there is a fair more amount of residue being buried and soil mixed on top. And you can see uh, many uh, root balls uh, turned up. These root systems from the previous corn pulled out of the ground, uh, which farmers really looking for uh, in these conditions ahead of, ahead of planting. Um, we dig a little further, you can tell uh, we are getting, those blades are penetrating, cutting a little bit more into the soil. Again, that shallow concave blade, as we start to pit or put it, give some gang angle to it, a little bit of a pitch, it really is able to dig in and get more aggressive cutout than we, than we could with a true vertical uh, tillage or straight uh, blade on the Turbo Max. So again, at two degrees is still not a lot of gang angle. There's still quite a bit of residue on the surface. And again, here's a weed that's barely hanging on by a thread. Um, Another one still intact, but in some mare's tail as well. So even at this two degrees, we're, we're still leaving quite a few of the weeds. We're getting more than the zero degree pass. Uh, but let's step over and see what four degrees is giving us. Now we're here in the pass that was made at four degree gang angle. And you can really see that we're starting to get more aggressive, bearing much more of that residue and leaving a lot more soil on the surface and keeping that residue anchored. So a lot more soil mixing. Uh, you can see we're really getting, doing a, an aggressive job sizing the residue uh, as well. And you can see uh, many more of the weeds are, are turned up as well. So we're really at this four degrees now starting to get these weeds pulled out. There's one that's still a bit anchored, um, but many of these weeds are pulled out. As we dig um, into the surface a little bit more, you can tell more uniform uh, a cutout as we, again, as we get more aggressive with the angle of those blades, that shallow concavity is just enough for it to be able to bite in and penetrate and get more aggressive soil mixing action. Well, let's step over to the six degree pass and see what the finish is behind that. We're standing here in the six degree pass now, and you can really see the amount of soil that's being mixed and thrown on top is much more evident than at the lower gang angles, especially the zero and two degrees. So. As we get down, look here more closely at the surface, again, getting root balls torn out, doing an aggressive job of that. And again, some big uh, hen bit plants here, completely torn out as, as well. So as we ag get more aggressive in that angle, we're really doing more aggressive job sizing, mixing that residue and getting um, complete weed kill at this gang angle. So again, as we dig through here, you can just see how much more soil is thoroughly mixed and how much more cutout we're really getting um, compared to those lower gain angles. Let's step over now to the eight degree gain angle. So here we're standing in our, our last pass of eight degrees and you can really see how much more soil 
is being turned over, how much darker the surface is and how much more residue we're burying, and as well as uh, getting really complete weed kill. Uh, as, you, as you can see, there are some larger chunks, some bigger soil clods here. Uh, this is probably not what we'd recommend as your last uh, pass for finishing in the spring ahead of the planter, just a little bit too aggressive uh, compared to those more intermediate gang angles, but definitely uh, would have its place uh, as an early spring pass or maybe in the fall as well, when we're really looking to maybe bury some residue or get some, some larger weeds uh, in some heavier weed pressure situations. Um, but, but typically this, this could maybe take a second pass um, for the operator who wants a smooth uh, seed bed behind that eight degree gang angle, but still uh, doing a pretty nice job leaving it level. See many more uh, root balls up on top. Um, however, uh, compared to other high speed discs that are on the market, I think still at eight degrees, this tool is doing a great job of leveling, leaving a, a good finish behind the machine. And to recap these different gang angles that we just uh, reviewed with you is that at the, zero, at the shallower zero degree pass, uh, you can see how much more residue is left on the surface and really uh, leaving quite a few of those weeds still not getting complete weed kill either. And then at the most extreme eight degree pass, you can see really burying uh, max amount of residue, um, but we are seeing some larger soil clods as well. And so it's probably not the ideal uh, last pass ahead of the planter. Uh, somewhere in between in that two to six degree, oftentimes that three to four degree range is really that prime uh, spring pass for the Terramax where we're getting so residue buried, anchored to the surface where it's not gonna blow away and we're still getting good wheat control and, and an excellent uh, seed bed surface finish left behind the machine as well that we'll be able to go into, plant into and get that great stand that we're looking for. Overall though, uh, the versatility of the Terramax between that zero to eight degrees is really going to do, do a nice job. And compared to other uh, high speed discs that are out there, uh, hybrid tillage tools on the market, uh, the Terramax can go up against any of those and still perform uh, well in a range of conditions, whether that be uh, needing to bury residue in the fall, take out weeds in the spring, or prepare that great seed bed as well. Uh, a lot of versatility with the Terramax, I'm excited, and that's what we were after showing you here in the field today.